Arab and International warmly welcome Al Qazemi. Pompeo pledges financial support to Iraq to recover instantly. Free, Washington, June 4, 2020. Share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on WhatsApp comments. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo congratulates Mustafa Al Qazemi for his assumption of the post of Prime Minister of Iraq on Thursday. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo congratulated Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Al Qazemi for his assumption of the new Iraqi government. I would like to begin by warmly welcoming Prime Minister Al Qazemi and congratulating him on the new Iraqi government and the peaceful transfer of power on behalf of the entire coalition. We are all committed to your success and support of the permanent defeat of ISIS, Pompeo said, according to the State Department statement. Pompeo also praised during his speech Thursday, at the ministerial meeting of the International Alliance to Combat ISIS, held in the American capital, Washington, on the peaceful transfer of power in Iraq. We participate in the financial burden that ensures an immediate Iraqi recovery, Pompeo added, adding that the United States pledged last year $100 million to the coalition's main stabilization program in the liberated areas. The U.S. Secretary of State expressed his aspiration to deepen the partnership with the people and the Iraqi government, through a series of discussions, especially through the strategic dialogue between Iraq and the United States, which will begin later this month. Pompeo added that accomplishing the victory over ISIS demonstrates the value of the alliance and stresses the commitment of the United States to lead its allies and partners towards shared victories. But our battle against ISIS will continue in the foreseeable future. We cannot rest. We must continue to get rid of ISIS cells and networks and provide stability assistance to the liberated areas of Iraq and Syria, Pompeo added. The U.S. Secretary of State referred to the massacre perpetrated by ISIS at the Children's Hospital in Afghanistan last month as it chose to target mothers who had given birth to lost their babies. The former Iraqi intelligence chief, Mustafa al qazemi became the sixth Iraqi prime minister in the post-2003 period, after parliament voted for him in May in his government curriculum. al qazemi pledged to hold early elections, fight the coronavirus, limit weapons to the state, and legislate an exceptional budget law, and he said that his government is a solution government, not a crisis government. al qazemi an independent who is not affiliated with any political party, assumed the position of head of the National Intelligence Service in June 2016, during the tenure of Haider al abadi as Prime Minister. al qazimi born in Baghdad in 1967, was an active opponent of Saddam Hussein's regime, who lived for years in exile, but did not join any of the Iraqi political parties. Before assuming the presidency of the Iraqi Intelligence Service, he held several positions in local and international media, most notably the editor-in-chief of the weekly magazine, columnist, and editor-in-chief of the Iraq section of Al. Monitor International.